Hello friends, it's me Chinu Encoder. Today I am going to talk about Java Swing customizable icons. In this tutorial, I'll introduce you to a library called Iconly, which can be used to create icons that can be that is customizable, both in color and uh, size of the icon. I mean, Java Swing was there for more than 20 years now, and uh, when it comes to labels, it is little bit when it comes to icons it is a little bit complicated because we use a label we attach a png image and we give some color to image like that for example if you want a download icon what do what we do is we search for download icon download that uh, icon from google from some open source icon repo and we attach that to a label but that is complicated since suppose if you want to change the color of an icon we have to do it manually but using this library called iconly we can generate icon of any color and any shape so in this tutorial we will see how to use that so the library that we are going to use is called iconly it is available for both java fx and swing based application so in this tutorial we will be seeing how to use them in the java swing application so if you look at the usage it is fairly straightforward you have to add the jar file or if you're using maven you just have to add this uh, dependency then the most important thing is there are this much icon packs available it is like a pluggable icon pack suppose you want to use a special icon pack foundation icon all that you have to do is to add this dependency if you look at the cheat sheet you can see all the icons available in that library like this so you can go through all these uh, icon packs available and select what you want so in this tutorial we'll be using this uh, material design uh, icon library and we uh, generate some icons with a the color and size we want so let's see how we can do this so uh, let us just have a look at this so we create i have created this one using material design icon pack with icon only the colors are random because uh, cu currently this color is red let me just run it again it will attach random color to each icons so as you can see now the color is changed because i am attaching the color randomly so let's see how we can do this so i'm going to create a new project and i'm going to create a maven project right now usually i go for normal java and based application now let us just go for maven so i'm going to give the name as iconly project okay so i got this iconly project what i need is i need to add those dependencies so this is the first thing that we have to do we have to add the dependency there so luckily they give the dependency in just a copy paste format like, like this you just have to copy this here in the installation section you have to copy the iconly swing part i'm going to copy that one then you need to attach any one or more icon pack that you want because suppose you want both material design and icon for you just have to add those two dependencies so these are completely pluggable icon packs so i'm going to use material design pack and let me add that dependency so okay let me just build my application and in when it is building i have to tell you something so when you include one you will be confused on how to use it so if you look at this there is this github link you can go there and check the documentation so here there is material design if you are in including this material design there will be a class called material design from there you can create the icon i will show you that in a moment so the build is complete let me create a new maybe a j frame form so sample frame I'm going to create a frame so I have got a frame I need to add one panel so I'm going to add a panel from here and I am setting the layout to maybe floor layout okay so I just set to floor layout so when I add it it will align automatically in 
uh, proper order so that's why i'm going to set this as left so instead of aligning component in the center it will align in the left so now we got our frame what we have to do now is we have to prepare the icons right okay let's see how to create and add an icon so i'm going to create a method called prepare icon and using netbeans sort of completion i'm going to create a method so now let's see how to create so in order to display an icon we need a container for that so we can't simply put an icon in a panel so for that as a container i'm going to use a label so we have j label in java swing i'm going to use that on j label so j label and i don't have to give any text there new j label now what i need is i have to make use of a class called font icon so this is the heart of iconly library whenever you create an iconly icon it will be of the font icon class so font icon icon equals then you can use font icon of font icon of so these are some static methods here you can there are multiple constructors you can specify an icon and a color or you can specify icon color and say so first we will go with the simple icon so here since we have imported material design pack there will be a class called material design so material design class is there then from there these are the icons available so these are just static constant values you can use them so let's say i want this mdi fan so you'll be confused on how to select an icon i mean how do you know this icon belongs to the icon you want so that can be checked using this cheat sheet for every pluggable library there is a cheat sheet available so suppose you want this bell icon then we can use this mdi bell outline let us use that one instead of this mdi fan okay now we got our icon back then i just have to add that icon to this label so label dot set icon option is there and just like that we can use this font icon so previously if we're using some image then we will create an icon image and use the set icon method just like that we can use this font icon now we have to add that to this panel i have to give some name to this panel let me give the name as root and i am going to add this icon to that root so add then i need to add this icon okay fine now okay sorry i do i don't want to add the icon i cannot add the icon i have to add the label so icon is added to the label and the label is added to the panel okay now let us run the program yes that is my main class and as you can see we got the default i mean the icon with the default size and color so by default the size is very small and i don't know exactly what the size is but we got this one and we got the black color now let's see how we can make it looks better so what i'm going to do is i have this option set icon size icon color or if i want to ch change the icon to some other non bell icon i can use that here so here i am going to set the icon size 150 okay then i am going to set the color to set icon color then i am going to use a material design color value so i'm going to give a string here color string let us say i'm going to give 0 to 88d1 okay so let us just run the program right now before that let us just call the pack method so the frame size will be automatically fit into the content then i can use set location relative to null so that it will be aligned in the center of the screen so it won't be in this top corner now let us run the program so it is in the center and as you can see we got this bell icon so that's it guys that's your that's the basic of using this font icon and the usage of font icon is supported in j option dialogues i mean j option dialog is one of the most important thing in swing swing framework because it allows to interact with the user so let me add an event listener here so whenever i click here with mouse i want to 
show any mess show a message with a custom icon okay so i'm going with mouse mouse click the option so whenever there is a mouse click i want to show a message so that can be done using j option pane dot show message dialog so we have three overloaded constructors here i am going to use this largest one so i can specify an icon in the last parameter and message let us say it is test message then i'm going to give it as maybe hello world then here we can specify an icon so i'm going to set it as the option paint dot information message then here we can specify an icon so we can create a font icon and set it there so let me create a font icon there so font icon font icon equals uh, or font icon of we created the font icon then we set some color let me set this to like 50 then i am going to attach this icon into this new option pane just like this i mean instead of using the default icon icons we can just use this font icon now let us run the program and see how it is working okay now i'm going to click here and as you can see this is a test message and we got our custom icon in this section and in case you guys are interested how i created this application that i have shown in the beginning of this video let's see the code for that one so in the icon sample i mean i created this when preparing for this tutorial so what i do is i added this method add icon then i create a panel i create a panel with a 300 by 300 size and i set the color to kind of i mean not exactly white but not gray either in between that one then i give a border so that is a panel inside that panel i have only one element that is the label and the label contains this font icon with 150 and for getting the color i created a set of material design colors like this and i am using the random function to randomly attach a color to the icon so that's how i created it so that's the end of this video uh, i i recommend you guys to check this out because this is very very important once you start developing uh, application because using hard-coded images is a little bit hard so as always thank you for watching this video like the video if you like it and subscribe for more cool videos